All right, good morning, everybody. So today we're gonna to be cutting up and polishing some lapidolite. And this lapidolite, not to mention, first off, it's gigantic. It's about the size of my head. <laughs> they could make like a lapidolite crown out of this thing or something. But I mean, this thing is huge. I also have another piece over there, probably about uh, half the size of this. So lapidolite, kind of hard to see the coloring. It is beautiful. Shades of purple, lilac, lavender, everything in that spectrum, even some grays and some whites. It's lithium rich mica. And they used to call lepidolite, when it was first discovered in the 18th century, they called lepidolite lepidos. I hope I'm saying that right. It's a Greek word, which means scaly. And the reason they called it that is because of its scale-like appearance. And I think we'll see what they're referring to more once we cut it and get it closer up to see. So it's like the scaly appearance is the, the lithium-rich mica and all that mica just forms like a scaly pattern. So that's kind of why. Uh, originally, when they first found it, they called it lyolite because it was more of the color like lilac. So they went with lyolite, but then they changed it to lapidolite. So this should be very easy to cut. It's about a three to four range on the most hardness scale. So it should be very easy to work with. We are gonna make some cool stuff out of this. I, I don't know yet. Maybe we'll go this way and make some big towers out of it. The other piece is a little smaller. We'll have to see, but the cool part of lapidolite, the kind I get is from India and I get big pieces of lapidolite and everybody loves lapidolite whether it's just for it because it looks beautiful. And once we get into this, you'll see how beautiful this comes out or metaphysical properties, which is another huge one. And I believe I did make a video on the pit of light a long time ago, one of my first videos. So check that out, but let's get to it. I'm excited. I think this is going to be cool and we should make some pretty big pieces out of this too, which should be pretty awesome. So let's head on over to the saw and get this sliced up. So let's start. Let's see here. So this guy, really nice piece. This is the other one. And we're gonna start with this one first. Just gorgeous material, just rough by itself. It's absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if you're seeing all that sparkle like I do, but tons of sparkle. And that's what everybody loves about Lapidolite. This guy, I honestly think I'm going to just cut straight in half, cut the bottom off, and make two beautiful, large lipidolite towers. So let's give that a shot and see how it goes. So forget about all the mud. You can kind of see what we're looking at here. Just that beautiful purple underneath. And the dirty water stuff is probably from something else I was cutting. I think I was cutting calcite or something. So this is going to be awesome. Once it gets cleaned up, you can see that deep purple. Super easy to cut. These are going to make two nice, beautiful towers. So I'm gonna trim the base off right now and knock these out.
And there we have it. Two huge, beautiful Lapidolite towers. Rough and polished. Well, eventually will be polished. And that's how easy it is. So let's keep going. This next piece, this one is a monster. So I'm thinking more towers, but I've been looking at it. I could try to get one massive tower in the middle, but the problem with that is I'm going to, if I do that, I'm going to alienate these other sides and I don't know how that's going to come out because I'm going to have to cut these pieces shorter and they're going to end up with little stubby towers. So I think what I'm going to do is cut this way, going this way on this guy. So let's see if what I'm thinking about works. So I'm probably gonna line this up right about there. This will make a good size tower, I think. <laughs> Perfect. So let's see here. Kind of what I was thinking about. I kind of wanted to keep that crazy top, but I'm thinking I might have to trim. Hmm. Or I go with a top heavy piece that could possibly fall over. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna take this bottom off. The only part that sucks is when the thing with this one I'm gonna have to take a good amount so it's going to shorten it up. So let's do it. Now, this guy. So I could continue and keep making tower, 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 tower. I'm probably going to do that because it's just such a nice piece. This way I'm going to have polished on two sides towers. I, I don't have to make them super thick. I was thinking I was going to make big long slices out of this, but I think it would make more sense to go with um, a few towers. Maybe one, two, three, three towers. So let's, let's do that. Boom. Boom. And bada boom, three towers. Can't wait to get this stuff all washed up. And the other great part about Lapidolite is it takes a minimal effort to polish. So from what I remember anyway, it's been a little bit. And this one's nice too. All of these are gonna clean up awesome. I think we got some really awesome towers out of this. Look at all this stuff. Whew. All right. I'm happy. I'm already happy and I'm already excited. Let's clean this up. I'm going to clean this up, wash up my saw a little bit, and then we're going to head on over to the polisher and see what we're looking at and start getting this stuff all prepped up. All right, so we are over here at the polisher. Beautiful purple Lapidolite. You can see all that shimmer and shine with all the mica popping out. I'm gonna start with one of these little end pieces and get going on the polishing. Again, this doesn't hold well, it's kind of hard to see. It does hold the saw marks a little bit. You definitely have to still get that whole first layer off, but it should be fairly easy as opposed to 
something else polishing this stuff. So that's kind of what I love about Lapidolite. So let's get going here. And look at this guy, and you got some pink popping through there as well, which is possible on Lapidolite. Awesome looking, just so beautiful. Look at this guy. This guy has all kinds of cool crystallization on it. This one's beautiful. And the other part too, I was a little concerned thinking some of these towers might not fit on my polisher. And when that happens, you gotta remove this top piece so this lip doesn't hit. And it works, it just tosses a little water. So, that's the trick if you have a tower that's out to here. You could still polish it on this flat grinder, but you still, you gotta just pop, pop the top off, that's all. A little messy, nothing too crazy. Let's keep going. It's taking a beautiful polish. All the sparkles popping out now. Awesome. So let's keep it going on this grit. Check that out. That is beautiful. Look at the colors on this thing. Wow. Let me wet that up. All that crystallization. Whew. Just a beautiful dark metallic purple. Shimmering. Wow. That's what I love about the Pitolite. Just getting all that beauty to pop out. And these are gonna be sick. But check that out. Wow. <laughs> On the last wheel, and it is looking really nice taking a beautiful polish and then we're gonna be almost ready for the cleanup and getting this all under the light which is my favorite part and seeing all the goodies So we are going to get these all cleaned up and then we're going to check them all out under the bright light and see what we got. But I'm thinking it's pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> so the other thing too, a lot of these, um, I have to go back. Uh, I don't show every piece of, for me polishing it or otherwise these videos would be hours long. So I do some of them, some of the bigger pieces for the videos, but sometimes it can take me a few hours to sit here and polish from head to toe. And the thing is with polishing, you don't wanna rush polishing. You just wanna take your time and go through the motions step by step and really ensure you get the most beautiful final product which whether you're 
keeping it, whether you're selling it, whatever the case may be, you want it to be perfect. So I always put the time in and never really shortcut anything. Otherwise, you're just going to get crap in the end. So we don't want that. We want the most beautiful pieces we can possibly imagine. And I think we're getting pretty close on these. So let me finish everything up, clean it up, and we'll get it under the lights and see what we got. I'm excited. So we are all finished here, all polished up, ready to show off all our awesome Lepidolite pieces. And check out all these big towers. Really nice batch. I mean, really nice. I'm loving these. Look at this one. All the beautiful, between the whites and the silvers, we got crystallization. All these towers are pretty thick, pretty hefty. I mean, really great. I, I'm, I'm very happy. Look at all these. We got some big towers. Some of these with the crystallization look extra cool. Big, thick slices. And just that nice, light purple, like a lilac. And I could see why they were going to call it Lyolite, because that would be a pretty good name. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> But uh, Lepidolite, that works. This one right here, check out the cool, like, there's like a little pink spot popping out. I, once in a while, you get some of that running through. Really cool. Just big, thick towers, though. So these are going to be awesome. I'm definitely going to have to keep one of these. I, I got a lot of Lepidolite already in my collection, but loving some of these that I have the... Uh, Beautiful crystallization. Really cool. And all these little ones come out too pretty good as well. All the cool patterns. Just great. I mean, whether you're just plopping these on a shelf, uh, you could still great hand holders. Just because it's a tower doesn't mean you can't work with it metaphysically. I work with a lot of towers, and they're just easy to, in my view easy to keep, easy to store. I mean, you could have these sitting on a shelf in the meantime, and then easily just grab one and work with it from a metaphysical standpoint, and makes it even easier. Uh, this Lepidolite comes out of India. Probably the most popular location of Lepidolite is coming out of India, and it all looks similar to this. There are some different locations where it's a deeper, like a really deep color purple, but most of it is this type where you have the silver and white and mixed with the purple. Just a nice, nice light color to it, and it really pops. And I mean, you could see all that mica, all the flash just popping out of there. I, I, very happy with this batch. Very happy. I think I got some really nice size towers out of this. And even these little guys that are kind of like a little bitty tower are still pretty cool. And these would make a nice little hand holder as well working with this. You don't need a massive piece like, you know, something like this to work with it from a meditation standpoint for with the uh, getting the metaphysical properties all these little guys they work just as good but i love lapidolite easy to cut beautiful takes a beautiful polish and just one it's wonderful wonderful energy wonderful to work with and always i have lapidolite in my collection and usually am always selling lapidolite I, I might have a little in the shop currently Definitely going to get some of this stuff posted, but I think these come out great. Let me know what you guys think and if you like them. Uh, this one's cool too. I don't know if I showed you this one again with the crystallization. Just loaded. Really cool. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this week. Um, next time around, I'm hoping to work with some... Uh, Black Obsidian coming up soon, making some some cool stuff out of that. 
Uh, I have Chris Acala, beautiful Chris Acala, which I can make some slices and stuff out of, which definitely be making some videos on that coming up soon. I love Chris Acala. Uh, the kind I have has like an iron or like, excuse me, a copper running through it. It's just beautiful. But we will definitely get to some of those coming up soon. But hope you enjoyed the lovely Lepidolite. I think it came out really nice. All right. I'll see you guys next time.